Hello everyone, open house Thursday. Welcome to the show. I am Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Hi, Obia Jalou. Excellent morning, everyone. Good to have you. You were not show. here yesterday. Yes. Let's ah, talk about the topic. The topic, does. the topic was so serious. I'm telling you. Is that what we do? So I say, Mariah, I want to take your one day. <laughs> not on Wednesday. Yes, yeah, take it all like this. When I'll come, I'll be just happy. Just happy. We were all like, it was a serious was too serious. It's security, security now. To, to the end. No difference. But it was a good show. It was a good, of course, uh, to be a good show, but it was just too serious, well, man. Well, yeah. How are you I'm doing? happy to be here. I'm just, I'm happy <laughs> to be alive. So sometimes all these yeah. depressing stories, yeah. I don't think I need it all yeah. the time. You know, we are faced with it every day. We are reading the paper. So you see the news in your face. You see the events and everything. But, um, so yesterday was um, Wednesday, and I decided to take some of my girls to the movies. Yeah. <laughs> we saw the movie, The Greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, I just oh, feel like um, it was good. It was a good movie. I just feel like with everything that's happening, the time that you have, just mm. try as much as possible to, you know, put smiles mm. on people's faces, mm. make sure that you're happy. None of us are getting out of here alive. Mm. We're here. Before we leave the earth, you have to die to leave the earth. So mm. sometimes just unwind. And right. for me, this, the, yeah, this period, I just want to, I'm taking life too seriously and somebody, I don't like it. Somebody was telling me, how, recently, in the last one year, I've been talking to a lot of women in their 50s. I mean, they've they become my new friends now. Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get a lot of wisdom. Okay. And I was talking to one of them the other day and she was telling me that when I was complaining about I have to do this, I have to do that. Yeah. Tell Mara, it's not going to stop. Mm, you keep doing. Gonna, it's never going to stop. Even even when your kids grow and they leave the house, you think you have time. No, mm. you're not going to have time because the kids are there. The grandchildren yeah. will come before your husband will still need you. Yeah. So uh, what you have to find that time mm, for yourself. Deliberately. Oh, and, and she, oh, she also told me that she regrets the fact that she never really had a community of friends. Oh. She was a family focused mm, person. I'm building and, that and now. And now that she's in her 50s she's, and, 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 and her, her kids are grown, she feels like, okay, I wish I had that small she group of you know? you so the it. point is that find time for yourself. Yeah, that was so the message. And told find me. time for well, friends. Yes. I am finding. The, yeah. the reality hit me yesterday because after I finished your view, went to do one customer delay. I had to call her. Like you know, life happened. Yes. Customer delayed. When what time I got home, I was so tired that I felt. Yes, this the, the rush of the past six weeks has mm. just been crazy, mm. and I'm feeling very strained, wow. very stretched. So I was like lying down, like I don't. I'm, this is, I'm feeling migraine coming, mm -hmm. and I don't want it. And the kids wanted attention, so I couldn't even sleep because I was feeling like a bad mom. Like you spent all the day working, oh, yeah. you, you didn't take them to school. You did pick them from school, and now you're back home. You're not even giving them any Time. attention. Then my husband now walks in, and the light is out. He's fit on the guy. I wanted to first scream, like you know, mm. when I sit on the night because I don't <laughs> want yeah. to have a but. I just stood up and said, Mark, I'm going to spend time with you. We'll eat together. And because I realized that I'm never going to stop being tired. Mm. But yeah. inside the tiredness, we will still have time exactly. together. So exactly. we, we, it's important it's we should tiredness. find that mm. time, time to burn. And I'm working and it into my schedule now. So mm. every Wednesday is moving Wednesday. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, Someone I mean, is learning something. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I need to find that time. Yeah. I need to start building a community. Yeah. Because you're, whether important. you like it or not, you're going to need that support system at some point. Yeah. Even when the kids yeah. grow, grow up. Because you need a community of friends that you have mm. similar kids, age yeah. mates, and you can compare notes, you can share ideas. Values. Yeah, similar values. values. Very important. And energy. Yeah, 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 very important. Okay, it's Thursday is our justin day. We have a celebrity <laughs> intel bell day. Yo, yo, yo. It's a man. We like when men come around to come yeah. and talk about you know family stuff. We like this kind of gist. <laughs> you know, want to hear their perspective. So, but first, we're going to go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to start with Vanguard. Military overwhelmed by security challenges, says governors. Picture here of the accident explosion <clears throat> at Magburu along Lagos Ibadan Expressway yesterday. 15 year rift. I have no fight to warrant reconciliation with Adam, says Obasanjo. Senate passes 2020 finance bill for first, second reading, same day. Federal government threats of ban on Christmas carol is insensitive, says Khan. Amotekum. Operatives arrest suspected killers of the Undo monarch Ulufon, 15 others. And uh, Zenith Bank wins Bank of the Year 2020 Bankers Award. Okay, which story are we taking? Amoteku. Let's yes, start with Amoteku. Yes, so we're aware of the um, passing, the death of um, the first class monarch, um, Oba. 
Adego Kiadeusi, who was a you know, shot by kidnappers last week. Uh, so um, they got, I think the Amotekun security outfit got an intelligence um, uh, report and so went into the forest where that area where the incident happened and they were able to get suspected uh, killers of the monarch and also other suspected criminals. So right now investigations are ongoing. They are mm. saying that by the time investigations show that these people are actually the culprits, they are going to release their mm. names to the public. And Khan is also saying that uh, PTF has seen that um, Christmas carols be uh, uh, a, ban, a ban on Christmas chorus for this season uh, is wrong and insensitive because many churches and religious organizations have actually put in place the um, COVID-19 uh, protocols, regulatory protocols yeah. and mm -hmm. it's important that they allow them to do what they want to do but they shouldn't use the car Christmas carols as a, as a threat. Nobody read the major headline. The governors are actually complaining saying that the, 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 in fact they are saying an admission that the military is overwhelmed yes. and that um, the, these, the, the bandits are saying attacking the northeast are likely to come to other states that they need to, we need to actually find new ideas on how to combat the there was um, no terrorism. Solution. There was no specific, no. there was just like, more like a lamentation. So Many of the survivors no, 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 recounted the horrific story of ex the, the experience at the, uh, what happened with the murder of the 43 farmers in the North I, I think the governor should support the senators and push for the what sack. the sack of service chiefs. They, they've, we've played to lip service for this too long. The insecurity in the country has increase over right, time right. so we have a okay let's move on to the nation governor's fear spread of insurgency to other regions we just talked about that uh there's a picture of the accident the explosion at magburu mm. uh covid19 vaccine rollout in uk seven hundred four thousand jobs failed to take off again <laughs> says um, i think that's according to the federal government hashtag NSAS police ask her to stop judicial panels Okay, which story are we taking? The 700, yes. 7,000, 700 and... Um, 7,000, 7,000. 7,000, yes. Yeah. So um, some states, according to the reports, are saying that one of the reasons the jobs haven't taken off is because of logistics. So the National Directorate of Employment, uh, which was in charge of overseeing the um, project, has written to the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, and they are saying that um, one of the problem, aside from the logistics... Okay, first of all, the logistics is the fact that some of the governors and um, um, you know um, politicians are actually sending out they are fighting for slots mm. for those jobs that's mm. one of the major problems they're having and aside from that the money that was supposed to be released which is was um 52 billion hasn't been released by the federal government for that job mm. you know they moved the date of um, starting because they wanted to wait for all the states to be ready they moved it from first of october to first of december and right now they don't they have a date yet ahead. because okay. they are waiting right. for everybody mm -hmm. i was going to take okay go ahead. covid 19 okay mm -hmm. so good news for those that were that were excited about the idea of having vaccine because they've approved vaccine um, vaccines have been approved in the uk and they've created like an age age, age range for those who will get it um oh, people above 80s with their caregivers in care homes will be okay. the first to get then 70s and health workers and but okay. is the same pfizer vaccine, yes right? yeah. 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 yes pfizer, pfizer vaccine would be getting okay to how's going to so take the other be good news maybe is it coming we'll to nigeria no, 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 just no, no, the uk no, no, reports no, 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 right no, no, now UK, let me take this quick story from the police square in Portland. Uh, police have approached the courts and they're saying that uh, they want the court to stop the judicial inquiry uh, that all the various states governors have set up within their state wow. and they're saying that the declaration they're saying that um, the inquire into the that, that this panel's inquiry into the police force constitutionally and statutory um, discharge of their duties is a gross violation of provisions of sections 24 241 12a wow. and they're saying that the they don't they're not empowered only the police only the federal government is empowered to look into the statutory um, um, execution of their work, not the individual, the, the judicial panel has been constituted by the governors. What and they're going to the approach the courts to mm. stop that inquiry. No. Okay, moving on to, the, let's take Daily Sun, since somebody's ready for Daily Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Our honor mm. rep someone says Buhari, mm. court sacks NGDC IMC, uh, Nigeria's restructuring, in inevitable says Akiri Dolu, Southern Kaduna Killings troops arrest seven suspects. Health workers to shut down hospitals, give FG two weeks to address demands, and Umahi sacks more Anyim's kinsmen. Okay, which story are we taking? So, first, um, the, the court suspend Pondi. If you remember, the NDDC boss that fainted 
um, at the Senate hearing. Now, a court's um, injunction has already said that it has been suspended. The team, actually, the entire team, they are called the Interim Managers Committee, IMC, for the NDDC, have now been suspended. Hmm. Also, the, 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 the same um, corporate forum for accountability and good incorporated trustees of forum for accountability and good governance are the ones that led the application. They've also gotten um, to ask, the, they've gotten the court to agree to um, question how um, the Minister for State for Niger Delta, uh, Akwabiu, why he appointed them, he should mention does he have the right to appoint this interim okay. committee and right. they mustn't be allowed to have access to documents within the um, NDDC anymore because right. they already have a stay of judgment. So these people are, shouldn't be allowed to go into the court's room okay. until after the court has settled the entire right. case so that they okay. don't tamper with the, evidence. Yeah, major major story, yeah. So mm -hmm. Speaker of the House of um, um, Representatives Femi Wajabi Amila has sent um, a delegation to the President over the killings that has happened in the past uh, few days and one of the things that they presented was that the president should come and answer to the House of Reps, mm. and aside from that, declare state of emergency. And w one of the reasons they said they, because people, um, some journalists were asking questions, what if the president does not appear this time around, since the Eighth Assembly mm. had already invited him and he never showed up? So they are saying that it's even more important for him to, you know, declare that state of emergency to give room for other international bodies to come in to our aid, so that we can get either the mercenaries to come and help fight insurgency, mm. saying that if you does not declare that state of emergency. The Constitution does not permit him to right. seek help from outside. So joint, Hopefully, the joint we'll health workers, Johesu, they are going on strike. They gave a five-day warning strike, and they said that according to them, the, 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 the government did not meet them with a positive re re result. So now they want to shut down all the medical sec all the medical the hospitals in Nigeria. Total shutdown of the health sector. Mm -hmm. Now, Johesu is a combination of the primary the primary healthcare workers, and they have made their demands known to the federal mm -hmm. government. They mm -hmm. did a strike, warning strike, and they haven't been heard. Please let's not wait until we have a total breakdown, breakdown of no. the health sector before we respond to them. Okay. Let the government speak up on their own end. So move on to the Guardian. Uh, Nigeria rakes in 7.8 trillion from company income tax in six years. Uh, federal, uh, federalism is the answer after all. That's an editorial. I wanted to take this story, especially because um, the president of the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria, Dame Gladys Simeon, um, simply, she's saying that the country has earned eight, 7.8 trillion in six years, and they have no reason to actually, um, that, that's not the reason for the recession, because mm -hmm. the, the, if the country had actually invested this money in infrastructure, we wouldn't have had the situation where every, any, any small um, 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 uh, influence from the oil sector begin to talk about recession. So she's saying that um, we should have actually spent the revenue from the taxes in the last six years properly. Mm. If, if we had done that, we wouldn't have to um, be um, at the mercy of the oil prices internationally. That's according to the president of the ICIN. Moving on, the final paper this morning is the Nigerian Tribune. Why Buhari should resign Northern Elders Forum. Um, how extortion at Port wasn't about gridlock. Emir to Shimbajo, we will follow you wherever you go. 2023, suspend ambition, save party first, Saraki tells PDP members. Uh, FG inaugurates negotiation team with ASU, others in 2009 agreement. Uh, let's find a story we've not taken. Don't expect brand new constitution, Deputy Senate President tells Nigerians. Hmm. Which story are we taking in? The major headline. Major headline, yes. So the Northern Elders Forum uh, yesterday um, have said that um, they want um, the president to resign, said he's, he has failed in protecting the lives and property of the people he is sworn to protect. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that they, uh, the, the, the call for him to resign is overdue, that um, they had given him some years to be able to, because he promised that within two years he would be able to squash insurgency in the country. And they have spent how many years down the line and he's still spending more years, that there is no willingness on his part to solve the problem of insurgency. So they are appealing to him to, you know, step down or resign or whatever it is. They were right. really blowing hot in that mm. paper. Okay, uh, it was important to mention yesterday's traffic was really caused by an explosion that happened in Maguro oh. uh, on Lagos Sebadon Expressway. It, it, a lot of motorists were affected by that. Exactly. I mean, uh, it was well, yesterday was practically on a partial lockdown. Those of you going to the Lagos Sebadon Expressway, mm. and it was because of an explosion. At the time of the report of the papers, they couldn't tell exactly what happened. They just felt that the truck lost control mm. and exploded on the spot, and that affected it is a, a tanker explosion. It's not new in Lagos. It's not new. Now. Even, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, so it's getting it's so, new. It's yeah. It's, it's getting really, really. I don't know how we're going to 
um, how we can sanction the owners of these trucks. I mean, that we've been saying Currently that for we years. Can't. We can't. We don't have any structure to do that now, yeah. and that I think is a problem. And that's one of the things about the National Assembly. Them. Yes, we see. We need that's why we need laws to oppose because according to what somebody had told us, that there is no law backing that investigation. So we need we need that that they, review they catch the driver, to ensure the owner of the truck goes free. Yes. That's so what until happens. we are able to deal with the owners of the truck, we're supposed to do things to keep to make sure that their trucks are safe, and if they are not, they pay. We're not ready to solve the problem. Unfortunately, that's all we can take on front page review. When we come back, it's Thursday. We're talking about so many issues. There was one particular one that stuck up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we often wonder why some children find it difficult to bond with their estranged parent after showing up many years after. We found this story about a celebrity daughter whose father allegedly abandoned her for 22 years and later came out on social media to lay claim to the child. We'd like to hear your views on this and whether the child is, um, should accept her father back or was it even right for her to say she wasn't interested in the relationship with the father. You can join the conversation on 90 you can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourVTVC so we can read your tweet. As usual, we try not to mention the names of the celebrities involved because it's not about them. It's about the issue we're putting about the, we're talking about the context of the matter. And because many people are in this situation and they, we try to see how we can help them and have a conversation around it. How best do you handle this situation? So what are your thoughts uh, on this? Um, this young lady, according to her, her entire life, she hasn't seen this, far, this man. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, her mother mentioned it to her a few times, you know, tried to encourage you her. Father, sure. You had to encourage her that have a relationship with this man. And she wasn't interested, obviously. So now she's the daughter of this big celebrity, mm -hmm. you know. People are now knowing them. And the man now comes out and says, ah, well, yeah, well, you are my <clears> daughter. You, you almost turn to turn, turn the image of the celebrity in question, mm -hmm. that this holy person, that uh, you actually, your first child is not for your husband. Either way, the daughter herself, as an adult, has come out to say, huh, Uncle, I am not interested in this relationship. Mm. In your view, was that the right thing for her to do, or how could this have been handled better? First of all, I think biological parents are overrated, but we are not ready to have that conversation. So a man who wants to have a relationship with the daughter, you now decided to first of all go to the blog to go and announce that you want to. If that woman was a common woman, an everyday woman who was not a celebrity, would you have gone to the blog? Mm. So that tells me that his interest is not even in building a relationship with the daughter. He's out for something else. He, probably he wants to, you know, taint her name or whatever it is, but it's not working for him. Mm. Now, um, I would have been, you know, sometimes when when you have a sort of childhood where you have experienced some of these things, mm. your, 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 your opinions are always different from the regular, oh, no, now nah, you know it's mommy, you know it's daddy, forgive and forget and all of that because you have experienced it firsthand. And when things like this happen, it has to, you have to be ready as a child to let go. And forgive from the bottom of your heart until you get to that point i don't think nobody should put any pressure on you to take that route for what people will say because you are the one who have experienced it imagine a child going through uh childhood not knowing who this other parent was not having any relationship with that person and then you come at the first thing you want to do is to go outside and start shouting instead of coming for us to you know find ways to get to know mm. me one on but one you know, give so, me a chance to right. understand what actually happened give me a chance right. to hear right. your own side okay. of the story so, now come in on. fairness we don't have this person's side of the story we didn't speak to you he, if, if he comes out tomorrow now you can say i, I tried this time i tried that time i tried you know Keep you've not trying. heard his own version mm. of the story but now but now I, I want you to just make your initial thoughts and then we'll talk about it outside this family okay, okay. so, so your, your I, initial I, thoughts I, I, i'm not a fan of social media love and social media friendship and social media apology and social media reconciliation mm. I, I believe that social media should be a byproduct of the what the quality of life you've lived already so, one, I do not support the fact that this story leaked through a blog yeah. and the girl had to respond to the blog. Mm. She was responding to the blog post that her father made, mm. an interview her father did. So, for me, on that, from that perspective, I do not support. To the core of the story, my own opinion is that 
it is not, it, it, what makes you a parent is beyond your um, donation of egg and sperm. Well what done. makes you a parent is the fact that you have raised the child. So mm -hmm. your parent isn't the person that biologically contributed to your coming to the world. Mm -hmm. Your parent is the person that sowed into your life, that raised you. Yeah. Um, so in that line, I support what the girl said, which is that my parents, I, I know my father. Mm -hmm. My father raised me from when I was a baby and mm -hmm. my father is still with me. I don't, this person might have might be my biological father, but I don't want to have a relationship to, 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 with him yet. Mm. Um, at the, at the, in the same vein, I think that we put too much pressure on, like BC said, we put too much pressure on people to embrace their biological parents, and I don't think that is necessary. I, I, I think that there, there, there are many sides to every story, and everybody's reality is different. What, I, what I've always stood on, and we've had some shit of the commission for many years, is that whoever raised you must always be respected. Yeah. Because we have cultures where on the wedding day when we discussed it the last time, yeah. they will now say your biological father should be the one to hand you over. Mm -hmm. No way. For me, who raised you? Is your father. Who groomed you? Mm -hmm. who, okay. who nurtured you? Is your father. Your okay, so That's your parents. So let us pack this family. Aside let's pack now. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about a woman now. You met a man, you fell in love, you had a child, you guys went off to, uh, away from each other, and you're raising your child by yourself. Now, as a woman in that situation, what is your responsibility to that child? Because you're estranged with her father. Mm. Both of you don't have a good relationship. Now, should, did, should you, how, how does a woman separate her own emotional torture from with, with the relationship with this man from the emotional connection he needs with his child? Because that's where, that's where, that's the, that's the root cause of where we are in that, in that story. That woman, or for, for whatever reason, took her child away, did not allow her to have a relationship with the father. Maybe at some point she now said, maybe you should know your father. The child is like, I'm not interested. This man already is my father. But what is the responsibility of the woman, the woman in question now, mm -hmm. as a person? Do you, how do you remove yourself? Your emotions. Your emotions from the relationship your child should have, have with, the with their father. biological father. Should you say, oh, because he's not in the picture, this new man that I have married mm. should be the only man you should know. Mm. Is that the right thing to do? Mm. Okay, because so, everything is about how you raise the child. Yes. Yeah, so uh, for me, I think um, sometimes we get very emotional, like you have mentioned, and we want to transfer the frustrations of that estranged relationship on the child, mm. which I think we need to start working not to mm. be in that position. So um, what you do, as for me, as a mother, is to, as the child is growing, I'll keep telling you that there's one father somewhere is your father. If he decides to come to see, want to see you, that's fine. You can arrange for him to see you. And that's new. Mm. You know, but then there are certain, um, there could be different reasons why that relationship has broken up. It could be as a result of domestic abuse, or it could be that the, 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 the father is not even in a place psychologically mm. to mm. be able to take care of you. Mm. But as you're growing up, I'll let you know that there's a father somewhere. Mm. And when you get to a certain age where it's now your choice, like this particular person is yeah. now you are an adult. You can decide, I want to continue this relationship. But I BC, want to go you know, on holidays to this place. But BC, do you and know okay. that if the woman, if a woman a has sown a seed of love, care, that this man hurt me, but he loves you, and so that seed of, I want you to meet this man. Do you know that child will not raise up at 22 years of saying that, ah, I don't want to meet you. No, 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 and the child will wake up one day and say, I want to go and meet my father. Yes, and I want to know him. I, I want to know him. I want to make the right. decision by myself. myself. Yes. I want to know him and know if he's really the demon you painted him to be. And you can raise a child to love someone. And the, man, the girl will wake up and say, this man you keep saying is a good man. He's not a he's good not man. A good, mm, I can see that he's not a good mm, man. So, mm. mommy, I know you're trying to protect me, but I choose not to deal with this person. So what, what I feel is that, one, let's forgive the woman that is hurt. It's not easy. A woman who's been heartbroken by a man, the natural response of that woman is to shield, shield herself, herself, and, herself and hate on, on such a woman. So my first appeal is if any woman has been um, left alone to raise children by herself, her focus should be on getting therapy so that she can let go. So don't think that you can handle it by yourself because you can't. Your natural response will be to hate, the, to hate unless God has really worked on your ability to love and forgive. Mm -hmm. that, let, when we put that aside, second phase is if you now find yourself that you've already sown hate into your child, you can then walk it back because your Bible will say, I'm what record any. You don't want to make enemies for your child. You don't want to build a foundation where your child mm -hmm. has built hate mm -hmm. for someone else. So mm -hmm. as a parent, whether you're a single mother or a single father, ensure that you do not, you raise your child to have ability to weigh the options, mm. see neutrality. Like, 
if you show me love, I will love you. If you show mm. me it, if you show me hate, I will look at well, you. May and I? May I yeah. also so, say? And, and, and okay, that is the key to having balanced children. Mm. We shouldn't raise children to just love blatantly, love everybody. Mm. We must raise our child to sense. see. Mm. We should see the good. Decipher is the mm. right word. Mm. We must have the ability to decipher between good and bad. And the child, we must allow your child to make a decision that I want to go and meet my father. Mm. And allow your child to go mm. and meet your father. Mm. Knowing that you have sown a seed of love and you have been a responsible mother, mm. whichever way you go, she or she goes, mm. they will not leave you alone. Okay. I also want to say something to deadbeat parents who just feel because I have donated something and you are there can come back and have bragging rights over a child you know nothing about. I have mm -hmm. a friend right now. No, no, no. I'm talking from personal experience. Mm -hmm. I have a friend right now who is raising three kids. This deadbeat man has disappeared. Mm -hmm. We know how we struggle to pay fees. We, I, I'm not even a family member, but I'm involved in raising these children. And tomorrow now he will appear from somewhere and come and, and we know how he ran see, away. Hold on, no. Back Hold on. No, let me pause Hold for a on, no. So, no, no, I let think me men, I think there's men a culture, women. There's a culture, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you, you see. There's a culture part of this. You see, it is a modern way of thinking. Mm. You are saying deadbeat. But in the Yoruba culture, deadbeat though, you know, dead, now you're picking with that. He that was fun. the one that, that, put, it that put it there. And left so, it. In, 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 the, in, in the culture that I am from, is that no matter how horrible that man could be, on that day of your wedding day, it is that man family wants to see you. you agree, has that it happened, you? It happened to, a, to a family member of mine. I won't mention the person. The person, <laughs> her father was totally not in the picture. I was well, there. They, they went to pick him up. I know where they, but they picked him up some, so he was drunk. Nothing, had no job. They picked him up there, washed him up, dressed him up. Wedding day, after wedding day, they carried him back, removed the ash, okay for me. Mariah, carried him back Mariah, to the Has that culture served you? That's one. Yes. It, now, it, it, culture is a way well, of life. Well, it's a father's blessing. No, 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 she got her father's blessing. Forget that, forget that, that thing. No, no, on that day, she got her father's blessing. I said no, uh, biological no. parents are overrated, but no. we're not ready to say that. But let me pause that story. We're not ready. We're not ready. Let me go in. Don't let me forget my point. We'll write it down. We'll come back with our guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So, joining our conversation is a renowned international and Nigerian singer, saxophonist. He's an international award winning artist, recognized everywhere on the globe, mm -hmm. an Afrobeat pioneer Come with his on. father. He's the one and only, the, ex the executive, mm. Femi Anikulako <laughs> Kote. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. I don't want to introduce you as for last song because we all know you are you're, you're, you're a brand yeah, new yeah, so we don't need to yeah, introduce that. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not running away from that fight. <laughs> I'm a last song. I'm not, I can yeah. never deny my yeah. brother. Yeah. Yeah. So good to have you on the show. How are you doing? Oh. If this your program is too early for musicians. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You went to bed late last night. No, a musician has always go back, go to bed late. <laughs> to, go to, bed, to even wake up to see my children sometimes is hectic. Uh, uh, okay, well, we go to bed late because we have to compose. Mm. The, the night is more peaceful to yeah. compose. Mm. But you look very well for somebody who went to bed late. You very look really fresh. well, fresh yeah. and yeah. like coming right from the cooler. There we are. Yeah. Correct. It's, it's easy here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to go into all, all your interview a bit later. But first, yes. I want you to join this conversation. Yes. So before you came in, we we're talking about the fact that. When a woman is in a strange relationship with a, with a, with a, with a significant other yes. and there's a child involved, what um, should how should she raise that child? You know, some people raise the child with sowing seeds of hate, understandably, for based, based on what the man did. The man could have murdered her father. Or something. You know, there are so many things that the man would live for. Maybe so they are there. So maybe he cheated, or maybe something, many things. Or she sows love. Either way, the child grows up, mm -hmm. yes. and then is now saying, "I am not interested." But family say, "Ah, ah, ah this is your wedding deal." This man that's, that has not been involved, we have to go God. and bring him. Yes. And he must be the one to hand you over to her because you need that father's biological blood blessing. Abia. Mm. You need that link. Mm. If not, the marriage will collapse. <laughs> that, that is. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, that's, that's so, so, that's so I want you, in your own view, as a yes. father yes. and as a Yoruba man, yes. please, hey. in this situation, what do you think should have been the right thing? I think um, whichever parent it is, you mustn't bring your child up to hate who your who the father or mother, mm. in respect of mm. who we are talking about. Yeah. I brought up my son on his own, and, and he loves his mother. I think whatever happens between the marriage couples or partners should never spill over to the children, no matter what. I think it's very sad to... <coughs> 
involve the child. So I have quite a, I have about, I have um, seven children and I'm not very friendly with all their mothers, but I don't bring their children up to hate their mothers. Mm. They're their mothers. There's nothing I can do about it. And my partner right now has to understand that, yes, I'm the father, but she must respect that the other children have their mothers. And well, if those children were raised by, your, by these other women, they might have grown up to hate you, don't you think? I think, yes, they, she, they probably have done that, but I'll always do everything in my to try and reach out to the child. Mm. But it might be difficult for, it depends on how nasty that parent wants to be. Mm. So I think you blame the parent for being nasty and bringing the child, making the child get involved in whatever. Okay, the man cheated, so what? He didn't kill anybody now. Okay, hey. you, okay the woman, women too cheat. Don't let's, you know they always blame the men, but women too cheat. Mm. And so, because woman cheated, did she kill anybody? Things happen in this life. You see, when you, the older you get, you start to understand that things happen in mm. this life. And maturity must always come into mm. your sense of reasoning. Mm. And you must always think of the child. And if you grow up and let that your child be thinking that this world is just paradise, that child is going to have serious see, problems. Before you come in, let me ask for one more question. Yes. In a situation where the man was never involved, one, well, he didn't pay one school fees, what he didn't if, no, what, buy no, one no, food. What if the woman did allow him to do it? What if she tried and, what, he didn't? and he decided not to? So, so what? What is school fees? If you manage and if God gave you the, uh, the opportunity to leave the child, he's still the father of the child. Yeah. Let the child decide that I don't want to know you. But even the child will not even, the child will still know him. Look, you see, I don't understand this. He's giving me a headache because I can't reason. I don't reason like that. You see, because I, one of my children, you see, I don't like to talk about this on TV, but I don't. I hardly see one of my daughters, but doesn't mean um, I'm going to hate the mother for it or whatever. I see prayer, I will see her one day. Mm -hmm. But if she comes and says, "My mother, I hate you because of my mother," that's wrong for you. I, I, I didn't bring my other children to hate their mothers, mm -hmm. and as you have seen, Maddie, Maddie loves his mother like. Mm -hmm. And okay, today my his mother and I we are like best of friends. Mm -hmm. You see, because. Things happen in this life, whether we like it or not, things will happen. And if you have a blessed marriage where you don't have, I don't even think there's any marriage in this life that has gone so smooth. They will have, I mean, they must, maybe maturity let them overcome their differences. So, but when you start to, I think when you start to fight and start acting unreasonable, you are being so childish, then you let it affect the children. This is, those parents need psychiatric treatment. <laughs> No, really. So when the child starts to hate well, either well, parent. Let me let you hear no. what you Okay, so uh, yes. there's this mentality because yes. why I like to attack culture is I want us to, one of the reasons why having all of these informed yes. conversations is for us to change the cultures that haven't served us. But there's this mentality in the air that I am a man. Even if my only job was to drop that seed and walk away, lavish ah. my life, spend everything I want to do with other people outside, my children will find me. There's that confidence that comes from you know, abandoning your child, feeling culture, feeling that your child, my children will look for me. They will always find me. How do we get um, that to stop so that people can now start having, um, making deliberate decisions on how to raise their children, being responsible, and knowing that if anything happens, you will bear the consequences of abandoning your children. I don't know that culture. Which culture is that? <laughs> There's this thing the in the air. air you, you see, culture, my culture, Yoruba culture, it's not like that. So you I don't know, know what yeah. culture you are talking about. Well, well, so we are the fan, the man just thinks he can plant the seed and disappear. And disappear. No. 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 Through a wedding ceremony. No, so I don't know that culture. I think that, you see, we have to understand African culture is not like this. And I, hmm. we have, we, because of colonization, we have, we have misrepresented culture because we are, we are, even the way, I'll give you a simple example. We all think in English. We all dream in English. Mm. Our communication is English. We abandon our way of life, mm. and we have adapted, adapted the European West. style. Mm. And the European style has taught us to criticize our culture and tradition. Mm. And we have polluted it, and as we are saying, the man, it is Western people that abandon their children. 
Mm. I, I don't know any African culture that the man mm. abandons his child. I yes, the man is brought up to mm. be a man and the child must blah blah. But I, I am I can consider myself a very African man and the way I brought up my children, as you can see, I don't fight their mothers. I mean, we might not be very friendly, but the child, I don't let the child get involved in mm. my aggro with the mothers. Mm. 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 Let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we we'll continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back. So we still have uh, Femi and Nicola Pokuti here with us. Um, still on this matter, Toko wanted to bring in our own perspective. Yes, yes. so um, our conversation behind the camera during the break has been very enlightening. And But back to the, the core topic that we're trying to resolve is that um, how, do we, how do we balance our emotions to the point where our children, we, we, don't, we don't, our conversation, our Anger with our part, with our partner, with a pe right. partner does not reflect the truth because I can't. I'm, I'm not in that situation, so I cannot give an effective any effective advice. But you've been through it, so in in practical ways, somebody is watching and is feeling like this person hurts me. Ah, you cannot see my child. Like like, or I, 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 it I just flows. Or that, it, why you even say it's hurting me? You don't put the child inside this matter. <laughs> That's between you. As me, you are my wife, mm. and we have a child. Then for some reason, we don't you see the beauty of that child. Hmm. Why do you want to spoil the life? Why do you want to get the child involved in our Spoils. misery? Hmm. You so want to give your child peace, peace love, love, and happiness. You, hmm. The child must never be involved in it. Hmm. it can't but there are some things that a man will do. For well, example, a woman is a woman. Do. Do. Let's, let's say, I know it's a man, a man. <laughs> a man do. For example, a woman, so a woman now, for example, maybe one of your, a woman maybe cheats on you such that she sleeps with somebody that is your, your sibling, mm. or she, um, oh, you find or she, yes, there are stupid possible. things, there are things that are totally yes, out that of the world. That will hurt you, it hurt will hurt you, you will go crazy. But you know you gave you a solution. You want people to commit suicide, it does, it does not concern you. see, the way I see it. My children, when I say I just see angels, I see love and everything. Mm. And is it my children that even let me, that I can even see my partners or in the past and just say, hey, how are you? Are you okay? Or I'll answer them because some of them have really hurt me bad. But you've not told us the truth. Let me tell you why. Yes. Well, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me tell, let me tell you why. Because why? If, if your children, for example, yes. if you have allowed some of your children yes. to go live with their, their yes. mother, they probably will come back. Exactly. Yes. Come, no, come back. It doesn't go back. I'm and telling forth. you the let way me... I do my own. I okay. don't know about other people. And I'm okay. only telling you that the let me, best let me way put to do it is to let that child be. Let me put a scenario. So you are with that child. Yes. And because in the interest of trying to raise her with love, maybe weekends you allow her to go and meet her father or go yes. and meet her, her mother and comes back. And then the child is emotionally torn because there is that issue that there's the emotion of how do I handle my, my, my father with when a I'm new wife. The and that, there's always that issue of loyalty. Oh yeah, yeah. There's always that disconnect. So that's why a woman says, you know, I'd rather you just stay with me and keep the man out of the situation. You can understand. Okay, my why... sister, um, Yeni, my older sister, she's on this program. She separated from her husband. But she never let her daughter hate her, yes, father. her father. Her father, she, her daughter has to go every two weeks, every month to spend time with her father. Mm. But she never Reason disallowed it. She was paying the school fees. She, mm. brought, she brought, brought up her daughter. Mm. But mm. she never um, held it against him. She never, and when mm. he wanted to participate, she allowed him. Mm. And, mm. and we had a very good friend there. I don't want to mention his name. Mm. And by the time the family spoke and all that we all just said look let this the mm. child must be and it was even from mm. her own mm. her experience okay. that let me draft yeah. my experience fantastic oh, i think we can learn from that lame. let me take Imano there i can take a few tweets Imano, are you there Imano, thanks for calling are you there you're live hello good morning you're live go ahead please Imano. Hello, good morning. Good morning. morning. I greet everybody in the house. My big brother, Auntie Morayo, and yes. all our sisters. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of your view. Um, yes, thank you. Yeah. This my a very nice topic, you guys. Very nice one. The one thing I want to say is that the way you cut somebody off, like uh, our brother there who is trying to, to say something, and Auntie Morayo, you just cut him off and say, let's go on a quick break. That, that uh, quick break can, it, it can hold now. Let him say what he needs to say. 
before just one break. Thank you, so, director so Emmanuel, <laughs> producer Emmanuel. Thank you very much. The moment you start producing me, no problem. I'll listen to you. Go ahead, let's give it to you. Yeah, so, so I, I think um, um, we should learn from what you have said because mm. I grew up without my mom. Mm. My father raised me. Mm. And not for one day did he tell me what really transpired. Mm. He never mentioned her in a bad light. Okay. So I grew up with having a choice to get to know her for me. Mm. myself mm. and now infer from my relationships with her and my father who is better for me or mm. who is not better for, do you understand so i remember that when she came for the first time and um, i received her at the back of my mind i was asking myself should i go mm. should i go and find out who she really is mm. and my father allowed me say if you want to go for easter holiday fine go for easter holiday mm. go, go get to know her that's I fine grew it's okay my mother and you know what my father did to my mother Hmm. Which is 27 wives. My, we, as Fela's children, <laughs> protect his legacy because of my mother. Hmm. Because of the way she brought us. She could have brought us up to hate with society, the society part hmm. of our country that hated Fela. She hmm. could have made us, because there were people that really hated Fela, yeah. the government and people like this. Okay. She yeah. could have made us live in that direction, hmm. brought up in that. She never did that. She hmm. was always, when we even, when he was, he wasn't the conventional father. He did send me to school. I did, hmm. I can't, stu I did study music. Hmm. But we don't hold that against him. She made us always see Fela's essence, his hmm. political views, his fights, his struggles, and we loved him for it. So we have grown up and we adore our father. Hmm. So you see, you need, people need to take whatever their problem, hmm. You they have to be mature mm. in that. Mm. It's very difficult. I'm not going to dispute yeah, this fact. It's difficult, difficult because if that person is, yeah. it, it's very moment, difficult. And, and, and I like, and you know, it's the legacy. Mm. So you've seen it in your father, you saw it in your mm. sister, and you lived the same thing. Mm. I think that everybody watching can also follow in that mm. line because we can see that um, there are always two sides to everybody. We have the good and the bad. People on Twitter are loving you. Sensible <laughs> talk from Femi Kuti, that's from um, Ola Agro, says nothing can change a man or woman from being the father and mother of their child, biological or is biological father and mother is not just a title, it's natural, nothing should change that. Um, you know, I, like, while you're really looking for mm. that, I just, I like the 27 wife thing, because you're a woman right now, you're complaining that the man went to go and cheat to one person, <laughs> or he went to go and... My father just said father, to people, go and I want to marry 27 wives, come and join you, come and be 28. You can't imagine how angry my mother must have been. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what... So, put yourself in the last <laughs> My father that he brought from London, he married her in London, mm. brought her to Africa, and then he said, say, I want to be an African man. Yeah. Uh, he, he, Ah, you don't know what my father did exactly. to my mother. Look, so, she, but she never let that anger. She was, mm. when we were even grown up as children, and we were like, mm. look, where is this man? Where is this man in our life? Say, mm. come, this is your father. Mm. Don't mm. ever let me hear you speak like this again. Mm. And slowly she molded us. Mm. And we just had to see Fela, the Fela that people were saying. Yeah. Fela, Fela could do no wrong after a while to us. We just okay. love Fela because mm. our mother brought us up Fantastic. that way. I think that's, that's that love. I think that's the show. We need to that's, celebrate that's your mother, that's though. That's the show right there. Let's go on a break. I think we've gotten the essence. They are going essence. to fight you again, though, your director. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, think, I think we've gotten the essence. I only want to take a few tweets. I want to, we're going to go to your interview very shortly. Okay, so um, um, Ayotunde says, it's a very delicate issue. It's always better to have the family together, but the children are innocent. You must find a way to make peace. Say hi to Femi from Omoya Dada. <laughs> I was there in his early life and I know what they went through. Yeah. Bilikis Mafe says, I grew up without my mother and because she didn't make the effort to be my life, despite all I did to reconnect with her, I placed the people who raised me as priority above her. Being a parent takes more than blood. And, um, yeah, okay, so uh, I think generally we can wrap up this, this segment. I think Femi has just told us that you need is the molding. It's all about how you mold the child. And the mm. child now grows up to say, regardless of how much love you've given to me, I still want to hate my mother. I still want to hate my father. It's not the adult. The it's the child is yeah. an adult. But, really, but you, as a so person, much love, the person can't go into. So you, well, there's parents that don't even want to know the children. They don't so care. you, mm. if, they, if, they, if the parents want to be bastard, bastardized, if the parents want to bastardize themselves, the child will already know that that parent is as bastardized mm. or as yeah. and it will be so. Okay. Move on. Yeah. Mm. Okay. On that note, we're going to break. When we come back, we'll focus on the new project Femi and Nicola Bokuti is working on. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we still have with us Femi and Nicola Bokuti. And I'd like to, uh, my first question to you is um, Afrobeat. Yes. It's been, obviously, 
celebrated and appreciated internationally. Yes. Locally, we don't have much of appreciation for it. It's almost, it's almost like a selected few people are, are still in that business of Afrobeat. In your view, um, is, what, are these new times for Afrobeats in the world, or do you think we still need to do more so that it doesn't go extinct, especially within Africa? I don't think it will ever go extinct because um, the greatest musicians in the world are always tapping out of it. Yeah. Even our mm -hmm. musicians today or artists today tap out of it. So it will always be there. Like jazz will always be there. Classical music will always be there. Mm. So it will never go ex extinct. I think um, what the problem I see is that we don't really have an industry, even with Nollywood. And that's because the government has never taken art as seriously as it should. Right. Mm. But then, the government didn't take medicine seriously. Oh, that's <laughs> why we are, in, we are in the predicament we are in today. Mm. Imagine we have so many young, talented artists, that, but they can't play musical instruments. How can you say you're a musician and you don't know anything about any musical instrument? Mm. So that industry, in a few years' time, will collapse if care is not taken. So we really need to, um, if things are not done properly, it's, I always like to give this example. A nurse can never become a doctor. Mm. Mm. Neither can a doctor become a surgeon. Mm. So very soon, if we are not careful, the chemists, the pharmacy, will start to operate on us. Mm. And that is what's happening in the mm. music mm. business. Mm. You see, I will, for instance, I can read, but I cannot read like Madi. A piece that Madi will read because he went to school and mm. studied music properly, he will read it in like five minutes. Mm. It might take me five days to play that wow. piece. Mm. Because he has school, he knows the technique, his mind, all the senses are working. Me, I'll be doing eh? because I taught myself. Mm. So, mm. that education is very important for, and if we don't teach our children properly how to do this mm. profession, mm. they will just come and go and they will just die by the wayside. So, so Afrobeat will always be there because why Afrobeat will always be there is because the creator, Fela, mm. was is a comprehensive, he gifted musician. So any musician that listens to him will just say, wow, this man was gifted. Mm. He, he can't peace. die. Classic For that, peace. he can never die. Okay. All right. So I, I see, I, I get what you mean. I'm looking, I, I like your perspective of looking deep into, this, into the story or into where the problem came from. But we have Grammy nominations from Burner Boy. And for me, we know for a fact, if you hear Burner Boy's sound, you would hear Afrobeat. You would yes. hear the ethos of what Fela um, stood for. And how does that make you feel to see it being recognized? You've gotten Grammy nomination, a, a song that embodies your value, gets a Grammy nomination. What, does that, what would you say to that? And those that are thinking, I don't want to do Afrobeat. I want to do whatever is making money. I don't think it's only Burner Boy taking out of Fela. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I think 90% of our artists here take out of Fela. Let me, there's one beat. <laughs> That's Fela's beat. What they did was they just took the snare drum of Fela's do-do, so, so they take, they just take, because they are sampling, they just mm. take, but if you, or that, if you know the Afro beat, you can see where somebody has taken out of Fela or mm. not, they don't just take the lyrics. The Afro beats is that's the creation effect. of Fela. Of Fela. Hmm. And that's why they now call it Afrobeats because they needed the name. But really, it is really more like hip hop, blah, blah style of music. Hmm. To play the Afrobeat, when you go into Fela's creation, Fela, the harmony, the way he harmonized, the way he conducted the rhythms, hmm. you have to really have studied and be, you must be gifted by God to have that talent hmm. to, must to be a put God. all this. You know, <laughs> and not again. I do, you see, when you bring this topic up, sometimes it's as if I will um, be criticizing. But you see, we have to be truthful sometimes. Many of the artists you have is, if you, you can take any singer and put into any of these songs and not mm. know because the rhythms is still the same. They are yes, monotonous. Yes, yes. Mm. When Fela is composing, <coughs> Fela is not monotonous. Yeah. Maybe one thing might be the same, the percussions or Koloji, Koloji, or Koloji, Koloji, the, the percussions, but everything or the checker will go. But even that, it changes. But then when you listen to the bass line or when the horns come in, it changes. Mm. So yeah, there's a mood for every pattern He's of the He's talking music. <laughs> He's talking music. As like jazz as well. Mm, yeah. Mm. So um, I, I understand that, um, you know, some people grew up and feel, okay, I'm talented in this. And because of that, probably they do not have the opportunity to study it properly. Yes. 
they just feel mm, I can just walk into the studio and do something and it comes out. Yes. Now, uh, that takes away that, um, um, is it like prestige yes. of that industry when you just feel anybody can walk in and just do something and come out. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we start regaining? See, everything is all about education and yes. how people can start doing things better. How do we start regaining the prestige of that From music? School. Okay. From mm. school, you have to start teaching, which I do know a lot of schools are teaching music now. Okay. But it's from school. If you don't, if you don't, you see, a lot of people, even when you watch, a lot of people try to study music. When they see the difficulty in music, hard, they run away from it. Mm. Everybody just wants the razzmatazz at the top. Yeah. The gege, mm. fame, money. The icing. But that is what music is as serious as medicine. Mm. So, and when mm. you meet any serious musician, you will see that person is cool. Mm. Because you are studying, you you never stop practicing. I still do six hours of practice daily, wow. every day. I want wow. to I want to go into your combo with Maddie. Yes. I mean I thought it was I mean I thought it was spectacular. Yes. To see you and your son a, coming he's together. A, he's a very gifted person. More so gifted so tell me. us about this combo. So it's supposed to um, <laughs> um, launch in February, I believe. Yes, February, February twenty first. His single. He has two singles out. Right. And I have um, my first single is out now. Ah, ba, 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 Yes, ba, ba. we got to hear that. We got yes. we're going to hear that. Well, at the end of the show, but tell us about <laughs> you are going to dance see, on the stage. Tell, tell us about seeing your son, grooming your son mm. to yes. this. I mean, you are you, you you took from your father, yes. and now you are giving back to your son. Yes. That must that, that, that must be the greatest feeling mm -hmm. on earth. Mm -hmm. You know, that what no, you got, you are no, still you are still passing no on, and he's doing it at a higher level. Yeah. There's no greater feeling. There's no feeling when mm. your child tells you, "I love you," and your I, it's, I don't see any feeling. Mm. That's why. That's why. Like I, the other topic, how you don't bring your children. You just want your child to have love and beautiful things in this mm. life. Mm. You don't bring stress on your child because they will have their stress. So mm. the way I see Madia as well is, I just saw this beautiful. I knew he was gifted by God. I knew he had the talent. Was now to train him and give him because my father didn't do all that. Mm. And I quickly, like, yes, Fela was great, but Fela did have faults, and one of the faults was he did not let me, mm. he should have made sure, but Fela wanted to use me as an experiment. Mm. <laughs> so his, his excuse was that I would be successful without With going to education. school. Mm. Without education. And his brother, my mother, everybody just freaked out that, no, when I became successful, it was... Didn't I tell you? <laughs> so, but I, as me that went through that experiment, I know it was very yeah, risky. Difficult. Let me play this song yes. down while we are so much. I want to discuss it. So, talking about Afrobeat, yes. she practically took from, Helena practically took from Fela's oil. The course. majority of the best of the best musicians take from Fela and have taken from Fela. Look, the great Miles Davis mm -hmm. admired Fela. The Beatles, James Brown, mm. um, okay, today, Beyonce, mm. um, Jay Z, yeah. um, come on. There's none of, none of Wyatt, Wyatt Cliff. There's nobody that has not taken from Fela. Mm. Because this is a, this is he was, Fela was a body, Fela, was, Fela is an institution himself. Mm. Fela, Fela's music should be in university. Mm. Fela's music is studied all over the world, yeah. except here, yeah. except yeah. privately. So, mm. That brings me to a question I want to ask you, because it, it seems like our government isn't seeing... Like... Our government does not see a lot of things. So, 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 <laughs> exactly you know, now. So, 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 we get the private sector involved? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, um, we, we could get private sector involved, but I, I know we have very little time left with you. There's something I've always admired about YK, yes. and I, say, I tell her all the time, yes. the parenting, the ability to live in... You know, people will see the fella or the Kuti family yes. from outside and think that, oh, these people, I'm they cannot have good mm. values. And I have been close so to you. Close. I've met Made, I've met all your children, well-mannered. How do you people do you it? You don't even drink, do you? you no, mean, like, I, 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 I used to smoke, but I never drank. I, I, so I stopped smoking ages ago now. So. And um, Made doesn't drink, YK doesn't drink. Made, uh, YK drinks champagne. Ah. Sharp, no, no, YK is a sharp. She likes, no. YK Please, does like, no, no, <laughs> uh, no, 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 say, no, YK doesn't smoke, but no, she drinks, she, she celebrates it. with champagne. Oh, yeah, ah, exactly. YK, no, she even tries to get me to drink champagne, no. <laughs> but I think that is, you know, Fela lost everything at one point in time. When his house was burned, Fela was dead broke. And by the time Fela died, we, because we, were part of the story. So when we, to build the shrine, to build our home, we take every, we don't take anything for granted because mm. we know how d um, delicate this life is. Mm. Again, this is again from my mother. 
my, 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 we had a very good mother. Nobody knows my mother. Mm. So she was always at the background. background. And her whole business was she loved her children and she just gave us, she showered us with love. Mm. So Fela was very outside. Fela was, <laughs> the way he brought me to very for outside everybody. man. Fela for everybody, he was for everybody and for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you see, because ah. I've always marveled. Yes. If I had a father that was wearing underwear up and down. <laughs> I don't in even his know, house. in his but house. In his house, yes, I, mean, house. I, I just, I mean, I would have been traumatic. No, but you, you might be shocked at first but then you just get used to it you get you felt like just made everybody get used to everything around him and then he just normalized everything please it brings me to tolerance one of the things i notice about um, when i'm in the shrine yes is how maddie would relate to the person that you think this guy's tipsy is drunk and the ones you see as very educated and well yes. suited and there's this air of tolerance around the african shrine yes you, it, it welcomes the whites and the black and the rich yes. and the poor how do we preach that level of tolerance across the, across the nation to the extent that we can begin to synergize our country? We study, I, I brought Mario to study virtues. And in, when you go to Egyptian times, you know that Africans, if you wanted to come out as an engineer or whatever, whatever profession, you had to study virtues, tolerance, patience, and all these things, mm -hmm. how to control your temper. So Madi, I always emphasize that he had to study these things, understand what these things mean and practice them in life, which I do practice as well in my life. So sometimes people expect to see one very wild Femi or <laughs> Femi that is very uh, snobbish. Mm. A lot of people think I'm snobbish, but I'm a very deep thinker because I, I'm very, I worry a lot as well. Mm. So when they see me taking deep, you think I'm snobbish, you or, but I'm more like, I have 10 children, so I'm thinking of school fees. You might <laughs> meet me. I adopted That's children. Seven, yeah, adopted no, I adopted them now. Yeah. Yeah. No, the first batch were <laughs> Maddie and his friends. Yes. There were five of them. The girl got married, so okay. she moved out. So, but the three boys, two of them are now married. There's one left with me. So okay. I adopted them. I brought them up. They were like six, wow. and I brought them up. So, but then somebody said to me that, what if Maddie dies? And that was like a coup that, ah, if Maddie dies, care. So then I thought that the Afri Anukula Pokuti, everybody was just having girls, no mm. boys. So if this set dies, okay. this ransom kuti dies, yes. there's no ransom kuti again, okay. according to culture, okay. since the girls can't carry <laughs> okay. kuti. Okay. So I just said, ah, I better start having children. So I just said to have children. So, I have, so do you have new boys now? I have two, three and boys three now. Three boys. And three girls. <laughs> three girls, that's six. Four girls. I have three boys and four girls. <laughs> three girls and four, that's seven. Yes. So it's still seven. Yes, but yeah, adopted biological. Two. Biological but, seven. No, I adopted but three. But still counting. Uh, three. No, and four. Has... You see, it's very confusing. I adopted four, but one has gone. Okay. So one has married. The girl got married. So how many so, biological are by seven, seven? But he's raising he's paying seven. ten school fees. He's okay. still responsible for no, ten. No, I'm not paying ten school fees anymore. Nine. I'm paying nine. I'm paying no seven, six. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this is what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Somebody will meet me, and I'm thinking my life, that my life is so... <laughs> Are you going to have more children? No, for what? I will cut it off. Someone will come out, oh, you I have the cutest daughter, daughter, though. You, you have know, the cutest children, daughter. I was able to tell you, YK, the other day, that, ah, if I had only Madi, can you imagine how peaceful my life would be? She said, well, say, do you see the bills you bring on to us? I said, but the children are so beautiful. Yeah. And one day we are going to live this life. Yeah. Who's going to take over the shrine? Who's going to take over all these things? Yeah. So we need children. So let me ask you, yes. what, what hope do you have for the Nigerian music industry? At some point, do, do you see the light at we the end We must of always time? have hope. Mm. I, as much as I criticize Nigeria, we must never lose hope. Mm. We must still remain focused that. Because people talk of war, people want disunity. They are not thinking deep, because if this place erupts, everybody's going to be in trouble. Affected, yeah. And if that first gunshot, look, as we saw from that protest, if anything goes, look, everybody's going to suffer. Mm. And we, where are we going to run to Ghana? Oh, yeah. Where are we going to go? So our energy must be directed, redirected into focusing on the future of this country. So, so we have to wrap up, and I, I yes. really wanted to talk about this, your music, because that's what this whole thing is about. Yes. Uh, but before, I, uh, Anthony Joshua came to the shrine, yes, yes. and he's going to be fighting next weekend. Do you guys still 
local club? Do you still talk to him? Of Have you encouraged him, him for next weekend's fight? I will send him a message. <laughs> you know, I don't forget, uh, I'm quite uh, more taller than most of yeah, everybody. So yeah. I must always be like a father. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm not somebody that superimposes myself yeah, or anybody. If yeah. you come and meet me, I will answer you. If you okay. don't come and meet so me. Your music, your, so your single is out? Yes. Maddie's one is coming up in February? No, yes. Maddie has two Maddie singles, singles, singles out, out, out right Your now. enemy and free your mind. Right. So yes. it's the album actually that's coming out in February. Fifth of February. Okay, so no. we're gonna be listening to I think Quack Quack Pa right now. That's my own now. Quack Quack Pa. Tell us about Quack Quack Pa. is listen to it, it's very straightforward. And we are saying that if you cannot get that job done, get out of there. Quickly. Yeah. 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 So, we, security. so thank you for talking about taking us that because mm -hmm. everybody is asking for the service chiefs to be sacked based mm -hmm. on what happened for the three farmers that were killed. I'm saying it's, so maybe it's time for them to even impeach the presidency. I mean, the northern yeah. elders have come together yeah. and say, you know what, Uncle, maybe you should resign. In your view, especially with the protests that happened, and we are saying if you list a, a single, pop, 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 what's your message to Nigerians today? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> My message will have been to the government. I, I think Nigeria, as we all know what we want, we want a good life, we are tired of, we are fed up, we are fed up of everything going on. And we are fed up of the news, we are fed up of every day something bad is happening. Mm. We don't wake up, I mean, the traffic is, there is nothing we can be happy about right now in this country, so we are fed up. Mm. So, the like I said, back, 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 they should get out of, if they, you can get out of there. Why, look, why does it take the president, why does the president not talk to his people? He talks to us and through garbage. Yeah, at least we have garbage. We have garbage. Is that what people voted for him? Oh. People like us were against him. Mm. First, because somebody like me, he was, not just because of what he did to my father. He was, he's too old. Mm. Do you know, I am, I already know I'm old. 58. Some people tell me I'm not old, but I know I'm old. Biden I is older. They say Biden is older. What is our business with America? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, they, they, like, they should put their, they should wake up dead and yeah, put it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you see, it's because we keep thinking about America and Europe, we forget about ourselves. You see, you know our people say is clean the cockroaches out of your eye before another person. Mm -hmm. We have not cleaned our own. So we are cleaning America. They have to run. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's all we can take. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure Bye -bye. having you on the show. <laughs> Tell my sister hello. <laughs> my <laughs> sister hello. Hi, like okay. In the building. <laughs> all right. See you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Good night. Oh my <laughs>